Barton family. Welcome back to my channel. If I look like I'm crying, I'm not crying. I really, really have to sneeze, but I can't. I have a cold right now and my wedding's just around the corner and I hope it goes away because I really don't want every picture I take to look like I have to sneeze. I don't want to look like a extra from a Mucinex commercial in my wedding pictures, but right now I feel like I'm going to, so I hope this goes away. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create some of these really pretty Easter DIYs that are inspired off of items I saw at Pier 1. I went into a Pier 1 recently and I ran into like an egg topiary and then um, I was buying actually some of their lanterns. So I was like, let me see if I can recreate some of the stuff I saw at Pier 1 um, using Dollar Tree products. So that is what I'm bringing for you guys today. I promised you guys in my last Easter DIY video that if we could get that to 5,000 thumbs up, I would do another one and you guys got it to 10,000 thumbs up so thank you to everybody who gave it a thumbs up again with this one if we can get it to 5,000 thumbs up I will have another Easter DIY video out for you guys if you don't want a thumbs up for that thumbs up for me I made all these things when I'm looking like this yes anyways also if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified every single time that i upload with that being said let's begin the tutorial and say a prayer for me hashtag pray for bethany that i can sneeze okay let's begin let's start with the easter egg topiary from dollar tree you want to pick up a planner i chose this one because it looks like the one i saw at pier one then you want to pick up something to be the base of the tree dollar tree does carry cones like this i was looking for the bigger ones in the auto section they didn't have them so instead i'm using the styrofoam cone i got at hobby lobby for around three dollars i know it's not a dollar tree product but at the end of the day to get what i really wanted I was going to have to spend more money at Dollar Tree to make that. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my cone and I'm placing it inside of the planter. If you're using the little cones from Dollar Tree, you can do the same thing. You can even use like the poster board and roll it around to create something similar. Now the next step I'm doing is taking some ribbon that I got at Dollar Tree. It's like a burlap ribbon and I'm gluing it around my cone. Now the reason I'm doing this is so that the white under the cone doesn't show through the tree at all. And if I miss some spots where I didn't put moss and I didn't put an egg, that white isn't going to show and it's not going to look funny. If you end up using the orange cones from Dollar Tree, you would do the same thing. That way, again, if there's any spots you missed, the orange doesn't show through and it looks kind of funny. Just wrap that ribbon all around. There's going to be parts that are not completely glued down, so you could take your glue gun and try to hold it in place. I used a popsicle stick to kind of smear the glue around. I didn't really want to use my finger, it was going to burn. So I used a popsicle stick to smear the glue around and just make sure that the ribbon was, most of the ribbon, was as close to the styrofoam as I could get it. Now after that, I weigh it all down by adding some of the stones from Dollar Tree to make sure that styrofoam stays in place. Now I'm taking these eggs from Dollar Tree and I am gluing them to the topiary. I use hot glue, but I have to hold each egg in place until the hot glue dries. Otherwise, it's going to start falling off each egg. So just hold it in place. It doesn't take too long and then move on to the next egg. I used about four containers. I did not use every single egg that I got from the four containers. I was mainly trying to use purple, pink, the green and the blue one and as I get closer and closer to the top I add less and less eggs. Now I start to glue down some Spanish moss from Dollar Tree. This moss is much more easy to work with than their reindeer moss and floral moss because it just I don't it doesn't fall apart as easily. So I take my hot glue, place the moss down. Some of the time I had to cut the moss down to fit certain sections. And this is where you can tell that putting that ribbon down really comes in handy because if that would have been just white under there, you would see it through the moss and it would just look funny. I was trying to mimic what I saw in the Pier 1 topiary. So now I'm just taking a willow wreath from Dollar Tree, one of the smaller ones, and just breaking off branches. And I glue a few of them around the topiary. Next up, I take some greenery from Dollar Tree and I go ahead and attach them from the main stem they are on, cut them down a bit, and then I just glue them all around the tree where I see fit. The finishing touches I did was add some ribbon around the bottom of the planter. I just thought it needed it. And then I added some purple flowers to this topiary. I thought I recorded myself gluing on the flowers. I did not. 
but I'm telling you, I glued on some purple flowers. So that is it for this DIY. I love this one. It totally reminds me of something you can buy inside of a store. Now moving on to this really big lantern. Now for this DIY, you're gonna need picture frames. I'm using these five by six picture frames from Dollar Tree. They have a wooden appearance. They have these in different colors. I like this really light um, brown color. Now I'm gonna be using 12 of them for this DIY. It depends how big you want this and how exactly you want it to look. Now what I'm doing is I am taking out the contents inside of the picture frame as well as the little holders, the things that hold the pictures in place. I just use some pliers to pull them out. Be gentle when pulling them out because it's easy to break Dollar Tree picture frames. Once I have them all pulled out of my picture frames, I start to glue four picture frames together side by side. Once I have two sets of those, I just glue them on top of each other. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take two picture frames and you are going to break them, but you gotta do it very slowly, otherwise you will actually break them where you can't even use them. But you wanna just slowly break them so you have nice clean cut edges from all four pieces of the picture frame. There are these little metal pieces that might be inside of some of them, you want to remove those pieces. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking two of the longer pieces and I'm gluing them so that the tips of them touch. So they have these like edges that are clean cut and you make two of them touch. So it kind of creates the top of a triangle. Now glue that to the top of your lantern base. And then you take the other two longer pieces you got from the other picture frame and you glue those down so that they attach to the top of that lantern as well as the top point of the top of the lantern. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, but you can see it. Now you don't have to do this, you can leave your lantern just the way it is. I want to create like some X's going through the sides of my lantern so I take some more pieces of the picture frame and I add glue to the wood looking part and then I attach it to the sides of the picture frame. Now the one that goes behind the one that is directly attached to the frame, it's really only attached to that light piece so you got to make sure you put a good amount of glue and it's you know it's going to be floating there you can't really tell when looking at it but if you look really close at it you can tell that that one piece is just kind of floating there it is what it is if you got a better idea go ahead and do it now you can put whatever you want inside of your lantern i added some of the moss sheets from dollar tree i cut one down i just placed that on top of the on top what am i talking about the bottom of the lantern and then I put like a candle inside of there. I put this small little um, green rabbit that I got at Hobby Lobby. It was actually on a pick. I took it off the pick and stuck it in there. I put some eggs and then some carrots from Dollar Tree. And that's it for the lantern. I love this thing because it's really tall. Now moving on to this blessing sign. From Dollar Tree, you could pick up... Okay, so it's like these little decor pieces from Dollar Tree. I'm using the block part of them, but there's other things you can use at Dollar Tree for this. I'm also using their big popsicle sticks. They have two different sizes. This is the bigger of the two. What I'm doing is I'm cutting the popsicle sticks to get um, nicer, sharp, straight edges. You slowly want to cut it if you're using like regular scissors like I am so that the wood doesn't split as bad. It's going to split a little bit on some of the pieces, not all of the pieces. And I'm just creating these long pieces and then short pieces that are going to kind of look like pieces of wood on top of this. Figure out how you want the popsicle sticks to be placed. Before you glue those down, you want to glue those little decor pieces to each other. I forgot to do that. So I started gluing on the first row of popsicle sticks and I was like, oh crap. So I flipped it over and tried to put glue through the crack of those two. Do that beforehand and then just place all your popsicle sticks down the way you want them to be. I just used my hot glue gun and it worked perfectly for this. The only thing is you really want to make sure you have those popsicle sticks laid out exactly how you want them to be and then glue them down because I did I had it at first and then I moved it around and then I realized after I started gluing them on I mixed things together and I had to recut pieces because I put you know ones in the wrong places. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm still sick. I'm not making much sense. Now paint the entire thing if you like. I'm using white chalk paint that I got from Walmart and a painting sponge and I just paint the entire thing. I had to do a couple of layers to get it to look the way that I wanted it to look and then I was good to go. Now I'm going to be using this bless sticker that I got from Hobby Lobby for $1.50 half off. This is the thing. 
I know not everybody's gonna go to Hobby Lobby to get this blessed sticker. Dollar Tree does carry a bunch of stickers and a bunch of letter stickers you can use or you can write it out yourself. I use this because I've had it on hand and I've wanted to use it for a long time, but let me tell you, the sticker sucked. When I was trying to peel it, it just started ripping apart. I had to like glue it down, the adhesive on the back wasn't good, it was a mess, but I got it on nonetheless, and that rhymed. To decorate this, I'm going to be adding some of those Dollar Tree eggs, this time two of the white Dollar Tree eggs. I had them left over from the topiary. And I just used my hot glue gun to do this. I placed one on the side, hold it down until the glue dries, and then I placed one that was looked like it's laying there, but I had to glue it down to the other egg. Then I got this little bunny from Dollar Tree. It's in a kid's crafting kit. I didn't glue this down. I just placed it beside the blessed sign. I didn't want to glue it down because I've been using this little bunny a lot. I did have to take the top of it where there was wiring in it off. And now I'm adding some carrots from Dollar Tree. I add one to the left side and one to the right side. And I'm finished. This is heavily based off of something I saw at Target as well because their Target dollar spot section, they have those little signs a lot. Anyways, that is it. Thank you so much for watching this Dollar Tree DIY video. I will see you guys next time for a Dollar Tree haul. Take care. Bye.